You know, one of the questions that we hear, one of the complaints that we hear from people at home is that people will stop us and they'll say, those ads, I hear all of this stuff, I don't know who to believe. One says this, one says that. Well, tonight uh, we have our truth tracker. Uh, Marshall Zellinger's been taking a look at what was said in tonight's debate, picking out certain elements of it and giving us the, the straight skinny on it. Marshall? Mike, we knew that health care was going to be a big issue because if anybody needs health insurance, you do, I do, pretty much anybody, it is going to impact you. And so both sides took turns talking about the uh, president's new health care law. And even the president at one point said he doesn't mind it being called Obamacare anymore. Both sides talking about this dollar amount that is associated with the impacts of that health care law. We start with what Governor Romney had to say about it. We have 4 million people on Medicare Advantage that will lose Medicare Advantage because of those $716 billion in cuts. I can't understand how you can cut Medicare $716 billion for current recipients of Medicare. The idea that $716 billion is cut from Medicare is misleading. But to explain why, we kind of have to go backwards or some reverse psychology. This document on the computer screen here is from the Congressional Budget Office. There was an attempt by Congress to get rid of, repeal, the president's health care law. And what this documentation says is that if you were to get rid of it, Medicare would increase by an estimated $716 billion over the next 10 years. This is saying that Medicare would get more money if you didn't have the president's health care law. However, the idea that it's being cut is misleading because based on the president's health care law, Medicare changes altogether the idea that you don't need that $716 billion to go to Medicare because the whole system has changed. However, the president also referenced this number. Check out what he had to say. Uh, and in Medicare, uh, what we did was we said uh, we are going to have to bring down the costs if we're going to deal with our long-term deficits. But to do that, uh, let's look where some of the money is going. $716 billion we were able to save from the Medicare program by no longer overpaying insurance companies. This is also misleading. You heard the president say $716 billion we were able to save from the Medicare program by no longer overpaying insurance companies. His health care law isn't fully implemented until the year 2014, so this is all in theory still. It really hasn't been implemented, so that money hasn't been saved because the whole system hasn't changed just yet. Again, this number, $716 billion, based on some analysis, uh, it's really a made-up number for now until the years go on and we can see if the health care law is enacted, how much money is diverted because it's not needed the way health care was because the health care system will have changed altogether. Easy way to spin the same number two different ways. And in my... Right. No wonder people are confused. Well, and it's one of the obvious differences between the two, how clearly they were divided on what happens next with health care, exactly. which is exactly. a very personal issue for a lot of folks. Yeah, Marshall Zellinger did a nice job of that, checking those out.